Well, hi folks and welcome to your very detailed walkthrough tour of number 35 Armstrong Crescent here in Holt. This is a really wonderful package because this home has been all updated for you. It's on a single level. We actually side onto natural reserves so you've got no neighbours to this side of you and a really wonderful frontage and street presence. The property itself, three beds, one bath with an oversized carport, 138 square metres of living on a 790 square metre block. And that large land component, well this affords you all this room at the front of your property. You could fit multiple vehicles, call it five or six off the road before you've even got into the carport. So your tour is going to start here, follow me down the path, let's have a look at this complete package because I think this is a, a really special home you're going to love. Now we're going to pop back and have a look at what's in there, I'm going to save that to the end of the tour. But there's a neat little enclosed space and I want you to first of all go up the five steps into the patio, the porch area. Uh, the entry just before we jump into the home itself. Let's come on through the doors and turn right. One of the things you'll notice throughout this property is there are no carpets. We've got beautifully polished timber floorboards and we're in the formal living dining area which is an L-shaped open plan design. And these really big windows they have a, a wonderful north aspect to the right. Um, these natural reclaimed timber pelmets underneath hide dual roller blinds. So two lots of roller blinds on all of these windows. Now in the ceiling we have ducted evaporative cooling, uh, uh, vented underneath the floors, ducted gas heating. So if we spin around we'll have a look here at the dining area and this can be closed off from the kitchen. We've got the arch that separates it from the living and the dining. And also if we look out that window we're going to get another little sneak peek of that courtyard we're going to go and have a look at soon. Some pendant lighting over the dining table and then through here into the kitchen. Now we're going to notice just how big this kitchen is. For a smaller three bedroom home, um, this is about as big as you'll see, isn't it? They've got again these beautiful timber tops um, starting at this side of the kitchen, a four burner gas cooktop and electric oven underneath. You've also got a range hood which is externally ducted into the roof cavity. And that bench space then creates a big L shape. We go past a one and a half bowl stainless steel sink and underneath that a stainless steel Bosch dishwasher. Big drawers as well, have a look at all this great storage space throughout. And when they renovated the kitchen, they also did the laundry. So tucked away behind the sliding cavity door, we have the sink, the uh, space for the washer dryer and storage to the left of that. And then external access and if you have your laundry going, you want to shut that off, well you can do that and there's a blackboard there you can write the shopping list. And again through these glass French doors we can shut off that kitchen area just as we can shut off these living areas and so living areas can be very separated from bedroom areas. So just on the right I just want to show you all this extra storage that the property has as well, lots of shelves and cupboards and then we turn left and we have bedroom number three. So again, you note these timber floors going all the way through and uh, we've got curtains um, on, the, uh, on the windows there, that's our north aspect. The robe space in this property has a two door built in robe and this is a double bed so uh, really it is large enough room if you wanted a, a queen size bed to accommodate that and the storage has both hanging and shelf space and a little sneaky uh, extra bit of storage up here. Okay, come back out, down the hallway and then we're going to take you right. And the way they've set the bathroom up is that the toilet room is very separate from the actual bathroom, which I think is a, a really good design. You've got your corner shower with semi-frameless shower screen, so that looks really nice and modern. Your bath, okay, and then your custom vanity to the side. There's a stone bench top, a custom vanity top, heat lamps, external ventilation, and storage cupboards underneath. And then we're going to go right to the end of the hallway, follow these floors along to bedroom number two. This is a really lovely aspect, this bedroom. Go and have a look at the window. It looks straight out into this really incredible, highly vegetated rear courtyard, which we will show you very, very soon as we progress through the tour. And then back to the main bedroom, we come in and we turn right here now. And this really is a super duper sized room. I hope you can appreciate just how much space is on offer here. So if you have a very large bed and bedside tables, it's going to accommodate a king size bed and all of that. 
We've got a feature shelving over the top. We've got a ceiling fan in here and some directional lighting. And then your storage cupboards, hanging space goes all the way along to here. Just move that chair for you and shelving down the side. And then this unique extension uh, where the previous owners have uh, included the sunroom mirror comes out through a sliding cavity door into a multi-purpose space that really has quite an array of different uh, usability for you. This is laminate flooring on the ground and this could work well as a rumpus, uh, a little studio, it could be a, it could be your workout room or your weights or your yoga, um, just even a lovely reading area. It's really nice and warm. We've still got that really great aspect out there and there's full window treatments on throughout. And then we can come out through this sliding door and this security screen door. And we're back to this entry. And if we spin around, I just want to uh, show you how you can do that. You can then walk straight into this part of the home. I had to even run a little home office. Or you can go into this part of the home. So there's dual entries. And there's also, of course, that door that goes out from the laundry. Okay, back down our stairs. I'm now going to take you right and we're going to loop right around the outside of the property and show you these incredible gardens. They are so beautifully established. Um, you can see to your left a brand new timber fence has been installed and these uh, pavers take you all the way through through this extensive vegetation which of course gives you all the privacy throughout and there's even storage underneath that sunroom extension uh, if you've got those extra household items you need to find a place for. Now, let's go straight down this path, follow through this vegetation, just getting a feel for the mature trees and shrubs that are on offer here, uh, and the tranquility and privacy that this rear yard offers. I haven't really seen a lot of properties that have been this well uh, landscaped and have this amount of vegetation for you to, uh, to, uh, to look after and appreciate. We go through this wisteria cover and we find that we've got extra storage sheds there for you. So those metal storage sheds for all your garden tools and whatnot, um, just to keep them uh, nicely accommodated. And then up over the fence, we have an enclosed area which has been specifically designed to house your garden beds. So if you've got a little bit of a green thumb and you want to be a little bit self-sufficient perhaps, and look after yourself with all your veggies and uh, produce this is where you're going to do it and by having it fully fenced off like that it's going to be uh, safe from any kids or pets perhaps that might want to run around in there this color bond fencing you'll notice all down this side of the home is extra high as well to give you privacy um, and remembering there's no neighbor to this site it's just natural reserve there's really big mature pine trees and I really love the fact that this gives it an extra sense of tranquility a couple of little patches of lawn and then we extend into this area which is a, a covered carpet it's about one and a half times or about 28 square meters where a normal single carpet would only be 18 square meters so this is oversized and the owners have also left this external dryer and bit of shelf in there so you get that included in the sale now this is a neat little part of the home that I wanted to show you the owners have laid astroturf over the surface and it is all full enclosed and it can be completely shut off from both ends and so this I thought was a another lovely extension of outdoor space where the kids can play safely perhaps the pets need to be secured here from time to time you've got this uh, thick rendered wall that protects you from the front of the property um, and I just think this is a, a spot that you'll probably end up using and appreciating a lot and it uh, opens or looks in from the uh, former living and dining area and I could even see someone perhaps thinking of putting a door in there and maybe stepping up into the actual house itself because at the moment we access it through this carport area. And then of course we've got a remote roller door to this carport so it semi-encloses this space and here we go, we complete the tour, we come right back to where I started in the driveway at the start and that is your tour. It is an incredible property, an amazing package, folks. It's vacant, we've beautifully styled it for you, but we've set it up so you can move straight into it even prior to Christmas with a property like this in this location. I hope you're gonna come and enjoy the tour for yourself. Look forward to seeing you there.